Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. I've got a couple big announcements today. Okay, a couple things are going to be changing at the Paper Outpost. Um, okay, first of all, there will be no more uh, scrappy fabric or paper contests. What has come to pass is I have found a local source to give my scraps to, so I'm going to be doing that moving forward. But the good news is there will still be a contest, and it will be for a special piece of it's either going to be an ephemera, meaning an old or interesting paper, uh, or paper like something, and or it's going to be an embellishment that I made. So, and there will only be one contest per Friday. So a little slight adjustment there, nothing big, still having a contest, still the rules are the same way. Post your comment below to enter next week's contest. So those who posted last week will be drawn in this week's contest for the new ephemera contest. So there you go. Uh, I think I'm going to do a piece of ephemera. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I will figure it out before the end of the video. It'll be something fun and interesting and that maybe it's not that easy to come across. Okay, so number two, um, I have been preparing new a new set of fabric packs. Now these fabric packs I think are really amazing. They're going to be 40 plus pieces. Um, nice variety. Um, I think the biggest are 8x8 eight eight or 8x10 eight and they uh, are smaller sequentially. Different sizes smaller than that as well to um, fill in the package. But 40 plus pieces. All very interesting different textiles, tech uh, textures, tactile senses to be used in our junk journals. Um, so if you're interested in those, th those are definitely a limited supply. I will announce that I am coming to the end of my fabric hoard. Yes, I had a goal to go through my fabric hoard. So this may be, this may be the last fabric pack offered for quite a while. So we'll see, just putting that out there because I'm pretty much, uh, I've got a little bit left, but I don't know how many I can make out of it. So we'll, we'll take a count on that. But um, yes, so limited supply. If you are interested in fabric pieces for junk journal making, um, this is your opportunity. So they are not um, in my Etsy shop yet. I'm just giving you a heads up that they are coming very soon. Uh, they're in, uh, the, I'm in the preparatory stage right now and as soon as they are uh, live in my Etsy shop I will let you know okay just wanted to give you a heads up in case you were interested in that okay so today is junk journal craft chat day and um, oh look at that I have I have nothing ready hold on okay I'm back okay so day today is junk journal craft chat we're going to be answering your crafty questions picking a winner of the new ephemera slash embellishment slash cool item prize and also we're going to be making some fabric related items for your junk journal. So this first one's going to be very easy. It's going to be a little standalone pocket. Um, it can be glued on or not, totally up to you. Um, just going to fold an index card. So if you've got an index card, this is an easy way to start. Um, I think I might actually staple this one uh, because the index card is not that wide and I want to be able to decorate it easily. So let's just try this. Just along the edges. Oops, on the edges, Pam, on the edges. And then when I use the fabric to cover it, the fabric will cover the staples. So there you go. And I think this is going to be a glued down item. And I've just got a pile of scraps here. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. A little pile of scraps. And somebody gifted me these lovely uh, scraps on here. So I think I'm going to pull these off. I'm assuming they're meant to be pulled off. And uh, I am going to just use them right up because they're really cool and very pretty and lots of colors in here. So let's just have at it. So I think I'm going to use Scotch Create glue stick. It's a permanent glue stick and it is good for lightweight fabric uh, projects. So there you go. Easy peasy. Um, and it's these are great to mass make. Oh, and um, have at the ready. You know, we like that. <laughs> and, uh, okay, this is pretty. Maybe I just bring it to the end. I can save as much of this pretty fabric as possible. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. Um, so many wonderful pieces here to pick from. This little tape on the edge. We'll take that off. Okay, there you go. Come on off. Um, and we'll just lay these babies down. I think I'll probably get three on here very easily. And who would like to be on the bottom rung? You? You're kind of cool. 
Well, maybe we'll do a darker one. Give it a little anchoring. Let's see, I don't know, I'm all over the... How about this guy? He's like very different. Yes, this is very colorful. Um, need a little wider than that, so maybe this piece might do the trick. It's like torn bed sheet. Oh, I like that look. I'm liking that look. Let's do it. So those little pieces that you end up cutting off can be your, your friend in the end. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to grab a pair of fabric scissors just so it's easier to cut. These are, what are these? These are Ginger Italy. They have a little hook thing. They look kind of cool when I bought them. Let's see how they cut. They should still be sharp because I don't use these that often. All right. Oh yeah, that was, that was like butter, like butter. Okay, so now we have that. Maybe I'll do a little inking just for fun. All right, we found some. This is walnut stain. Probably can't read that, but that's the color. It's a darker brown. And let me get the, uh, the dauber out. Dauber extraordinaire. Never fail me dauber. I've used this thing for years. It's ridiculous. The, mi the mileage I get out of that baby. And okay, so I'm just aging it a little bit, making it look a little bit more vintage. And like in two shakes of a little, uh, I was going to say Ludwig, that's my old dog's name that has passed several years ago, little uh, Sunshine's Tail, um, we have a pocket. So quick, so easy. It's got texture. And I just thought of something we can do to level this up a little bit. Um, so that's just a three layer collage design. Very easy. Anybody can do that. But you can keep going. Like you can, like where these join, you can actually put other pieces on top of that. And I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that by running the piece right over with the thumb maneuver. Okay, the thumb maneuver for these skinny pieces. That seems to work well. So a little trick of the trade there. All right. Okay, there we go. I'm going to now get glue on my, my scissors. I'm trying not to cut my finger. Don't cut your finger, Pam. I know, I know. Do it the other way, Pam. Okay. See what you're doing. Okay, and then maybe another one there to marry it all together. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. And here we go. There we go. And it could add a little accent just for fun, like a focal point. Um, and then, oh, I'm going to see what I have here. Oh, that's interesting. Do I want, I think I'm going to make it out of, uh, it's going to be out of paper. I'm not going to make it out of paper. It's going to be out of paper. Let's see what I have. I have this little, uh, this is my cluster bucket. Let's see what we have in here that might look cutie pie. Oh, that's a, that's a fabric. I could just stick something like that in the center. Not the right piece. No, nope. maybe that's a contender. Look at that baby. What are these little stickery thing? I don't know what these are, but there's 12 spare of them and we have that covered. Okay. I'm going to put that like that. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that and put it on there and call it a day. And how quickly that came together, right? That's pretty fast. Okay, let me just put this on here. Um, to doom sideways. And where's my, there you are. Put you on there for, um, since you're here, you look like you want to play. Put you on there, cover the staple. Ah, here we go. Now we can put something fun in there. Um, let's find a little piece of fun something. We have a lot of little somethings around here. There is no shortage of somethings. Okay, let me let me go in here and we'll find a cute little ticket. It's very cute. I think I got something. Oh, those would be cute too. I have these um, these reproductions of die kits. Maybe that would be pretty to tuck in there. Let's try that. Sometimes you don't know until you open the drawer what you're going to use. So uh, I believe Any gave me these. So thank you, Any. These came from a long way from Europe and we are putting them to good use. This is going to be pretty. So we've got some design going on there. I think they're even stickers. So there you go. We'll just open that up, pop those in. And now it's, it's a little loaded pocket. Very easy to do. You can just glue the back right onto a page. Okay. Okay. We'll glue the back onto a page. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sometimes there are, folks like to see exactly how you use it in a junk journal. So here's, okay. I'm trying to pick it up now. I am. And, oh, that actually looks very pretty right there. Let's just see if it's in a better place. Maybe here. I'll just put it maybe right there. Okay, that looks good. 
And we've got the glue stick, so we'll just keep rolling with it. It's a good idea to go off to the edges. That will help make sure that all the edges are glued down. That's why we go to the edges, right? Now I'm going to put this on this white paper. And there we go. So, just something fun that you can do uh, for a journal page. Very quick, very easy. You can also clip those in place so that they um, can be removed. You could just paper clip them. Uh, but this one is going to be permanently anchored in. Um, and that is the journal maker's choice. Yes. There you go. Okay, so let's answer some questions that you have. See what you guys are thinking about these days. Where are your brains are all going? Let us see. Uh, Janie Anderson says, Pam, I wonder if the outside corners would look good with strips of fabric as decoration and corner reinforcements. Oh, that would look really cool. She's talking about this baby. Where we're working with the food box to make it as a um, half a junk journal will go in and half a pocket with embellishments and ephemera will go in so that the person can uh, decorate the junk journal. And uh, so that's a very intriguing idea. I like that idea a lot. Uh, very creative. Okay, we'll percolate with that in the brain. And thank you for your comment, uh, Janie. Now we also have um, 2011 Schmidt says, Hi Pam, I was wondering if you could put a shiny protective coating on the faux suede due to the conditioner. And if so, what would you recommend? Um, I would love to make it glossy to bring out the colors a bit. Thank you for your tutorials. I would spray it with a glossy acrylic spray. Um, your acrylic sealant sprays can come in glossy or matte or probably satin as well. I'm sure they have all kinds. But I would spray it with a glossy spray or you could probably even go over it with a lot of Mod Podge which will, gl will, will give you a glossy surface. The actual um, uh, I think if you Mod Podge it on top, you'll end up with what I call the leather version of the suede and leather. So it will give you a glossy finish. There, there you go. I think that's, that's it. And um, yours was the very first junk journal video I ever saw. I have been watching you for three years. Thank you. That's really sweet. I'm so happy you are here. Um, Margaret Connor says, uh, I have saved food boxes forever waiting for you to do a video with one. Could you do another uh, one, this simpleton can manage. Uh, LOL, you are so talented. Sunny and Sunny could not be more adorable. Haven't missed a video since I met you. Oh, you are so sweet. And your podcast too. Oh, you're, you're a dear. Margaret, thank you for hanging out and having fun. And you know what? There are a million and one things we can do with a food box. We are not out of ideas. We will carry on with the food box ideas because apparently we keep eating. So we're going to have a never endless supply of a craft supply there, which is awesome. Um, Crystal Parrot Studio says, wait, what did we just watch? Um, I think we just took the phrase create with reckless abandon to a whole new level today. Um, she's referring to the Got a Food Box <laughs> video that has just been coming out. Um, it's a little mini series, uh, basically craft with me. You're going to see me figure things out along the way, maybe take things apart, redo things. And um, so it's kind of a thought process video so if those of you who are interested to see how this wacky turnip works that's me doing a big reveal on how the wacky turnip works um it's a little scary sometimes i never know where it's going but it's it's a, it's always fun for me i can tell you that i i don't mind tearing things apart covering things up redoing things it's just when you get an inspiration or idea i say go for it and if you're wondering whether you should i say do it you know what it's only paper go for it. You don't want to regret. You know what I mean? Just go in there and glue it, tear it, cut it. Just do it. Okay. Um, uh, Summer Rain says, aw, poor sleepy sunshine. So cute. Pam, I wonder if you know how many of us are speaking back to you throughout all your videos. Every time you ask, should we do that? Or where did I put that? Or how about this? Your videos are really interactive and fun. Oh, I'm glad you guys are having fun. That makes me feel good because I have fun uh, hanging out with you guys doing this. It's a lot more fun with you guys. It was very quiet in here before you guys came along. Let me tell you, you could hear a pin drop. Um, so you have brought um, new life into my world. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I know you do have choices where you spend your, your time in life, and I'm very, very honored that you guys uh, spend some time here with me, and so thanks. Um, Lynn Burns says, I sometimes have a hard time completing my projects. 
I get started and then life happens and I get pulled away. It's hard to stay focused and bring my projects to completion. Do you have any tips on time management <laughs> or perhaps how to see a project through to completion? Okay, one thing I discovered um, actually when I was studying back in the day was there's a secret afternoon. This may not exist for everybody, but it did for me. It was between 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. It was like a four-hour time block. It wasn't perfect. It didn't always work out exactly well, but there were very few phone calls and in interruptions and texts, and I could do what I felt was the most important thing and get that done first before life happened and got in the way. So um, that would probably be my best um, tip. There's a lot of tips I have for time management with crafting, but that would be the kicker because then you've already completed the most important thing to you for that day. And then let's face it, everything else after that is pure gravy. And uh, the nice the other thing about that is your papers will wait for you. There's no rush. Um, they will, they will, they're very patient. They will sit there on your desk, I promise you, and not move until you come back. Um, okay. Uh, so next question we have is, let's see where we got. Okay. Um, have you, Judith Henderson asks, have you done a video showing how you made the glue bottle holder? Yes. And it's, I think it's called the glue caddy. So go on to my main junk journal page, my junk journal page, my main YouTube channel page. There's a little magnifying glass icon generally in the upper right area, not too far from the top. And type in glue caddy or caddy, C-A-D-D-Y, and it should pull it up. That's the easiest way to find videos because there's a lot of videos right now and, and even I have a hard time remembering their titles, um, but uh, that's the best way to find them. And okay, um, have you done a video showing how to, yes, I just read that, thank you. Thank you, Pam, carry on. Gigi Tier says, do you have to make a journal specifically for this creation or do you have one already uh, to use. I think I answered some of these. Maybe I didn't heart them the other day. Um, so she's talking about this food box. I, I do not have a journal for this. Um, I don't, th this one is too fat. It's not going to fit in there. It's too tall. It's too, fa it's just not going to happen. You know what I mean? I need, I do need to make a special journal for this. So you're going to get to watch me figure out how to make a special journal to fit this, hopefully the easy way. Okay. Um, Oh yeah, I did. I didn't. Uh, yep. No, I answered them. Okay, I'm going to swing past a bunch of these. Okay. Um, pa or, uh, a Feaser asked, where did you get the stencil? It looks very sturdy. She's referring to the stencil that I used inside here. And uh, probably eBay or Etsy. I tend to go on there and just buy, like if I'm in a stencil buying mood, I'll just buy bow loads. Maybe even AliExpress. I haven't ordered from AliExpress in a while, but because with the supply chain slowdown, I just gave up on that because it was six weeks as it was. So if you add supply chain slowdown, it would be like next year sometime I'd get it. So it's pretty much been Etsy, eBay, or Amazon for a stencil. Or, you know, the best one is the thrift store. If you can get stencils for next to nothing, even better. Um, and, and most stencils will work. You don't have to have super fancy stencils or anything, but just hold it in place. You can tape them down and all that, but really, really, do you want to do that? No, you don't want to do that. Just lay it down, use your paddle brush, go over that, feel good about it, lift it up and go, ah, and you're stenciled. It really covers a lot of territory quickly. Um, Alana Skinner says, Pam, a question, if this is going to, if this is going to be a gift box, what do you think about extending the back with white cardstock and making a closure? Just a thought. Now that's a very nice idea. You could basically add a flap or a door here. Maybe we'll do that. I don't exactly know how much everything is going to stick out, but that would be a very nice design. That's like super um, elegant, elite, upper level, classy, schmassy sort of stuff. We'll see where this goes. I don't exactly know the final design, but you could totally do that. It, you could even have it be a Velcro closer, closer, uh, closure or a snap closure, or maybe something that has an eyelet with a ribbon and you could tie it around. I mean, there's just so many ways you could do that, but that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll explore that. That might be a possibility. Possibly. We'll see. Um, okay, see, I forgot to heart these. Um, Rob, Robert Taker, Take Your, no, Robert Take Earn. Okay. Um, what about a very thin, thinned out layer of white gesso over the whole box? Yeah, I think that would actually be really pretty, like a very nice, shabby, 
you know, we can't say that word for some reason, but you know what I mean? Like the shabby style, shab shab. Yeah, that one. Just like milky, milky paint over it, like translucent, white, thin paint, chalky looking paint. That would look really cool. That would really look cool. I don't know why we can't say that word. Um, Pam, Janie Anderson says, Pam, can you do a video on various techniques for pockets or bands to attach a writing pen to a journal? Oh, yeah, I think I have some of those. Put in pen in the search field on my main YouTube channel homepage. You, you find that by clicking on my circle face or um, the, the word, the paper outpost. If it's bolded, try clicking on that. That should take you to the main homepage. Yeah, um, I, I think that's great. Let's make another one of these. Looks like something bad happened to this one. Oh, that was what it came on. Okay, that was what the... Okay, let's make one more of these. Um, actually, let's do this one a little differently. Let's just do... like I don't know. We're just goofing around here today. Let's do barn doors. Barn doors, not measuring, just going for it. No stencil... No stencils. No um, staples required. And let's just see where we go with this. We have no idea at this point. I think I'm just going to decorate the barn doors with some um, very easy fabric collage. That might be kind of fun. Okay, there we go. We got lots of glue down out to the edges. Very nice. Oh, look at these little pink pigs. Aren't they cute? Whoop. Aren't they cute? Little pink pigs. That's so cute. Okay, we've got to put you on there. You're just too cute. I think barn doors, pink pigs, it's a thing. Match made in heaven. Perfect. So you can really see the tiniest pieces of fabric are actually your friend when it comes to these tiny little projects. All right. So I put you... Oh, you almost covered up the whole thing. Look at that. Cutie pig arama. I love that. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use this one. What the heck? Not as good. Nope. Get over here with the fancy schmancies. Okay. I gotta, you got to unlock the latch. Oh, details. Oh, yeah. What a big difference that was. Well, okay. So we need something over there. We could do a piggies again. This is really cute. I do like the piggies. All right, we'll do the piggies. Straighten it out. Oh, we got a fold. Oh, dag nabbit. You could work the fold in. Yes, you could ink it up and make it show, but no, nah, I'm just going to re-glue it. Okay, very nice. Yes. All right, so I have a little edge there, so I want to edge it with something. Well, this is pretty. Look at this green green velvet. Do I have enough? I don't have enough to make both of them. Darn. Oh, let's see what else I have here. There are other pretty things. Fear not. Well, this is pretty. What is this? Oh, we have enough of this, whatever it is. Some kind of multicolored ribbony thing. That might look really cool on the edges. Ah, I think we give a little border-like thing. Okay. Let me put a little more glue down. All right. Getting it on the mat like we're not supposed to. That's right. That's how it's done. This is how the big girls play in the craft room. We're getting glue everywhere, taking names. This is, this is how we do it. Um, because, you know, there's nobody to yell at us because we got to clean it up ourselves. So it's not like, what? You did, you did what? You, you glued on your, don't you know the, the mayhem? Yes, yes, I do. Don't you know what it's going to cause bumps? And you're never going to get that. I know, I know, I've been there. Um, but I did it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, get in there. This one wants to ball up on me. Ugh. Ugh. Stay, stay straight. Go a little over the edge. That'd probably be good. It's like strange noises in the house right now. Cracking and stuff. Maybe it's the house settling. Let's hope it's that. All right. And a little bit over here. Probably could use more of a contrasting color. Um, but we're here now, so we're just going to leave it. This is a pretty little piece of ribbon. I do like this. There's multiple colors on it. It's kind of wavy in its own little way. All right. Okay. There we go. Good enough. There's good and then there's good enough, right? You know where we live. <laughs> good enough. Pretty darn good. Not half bad. And hey, that's, that's pretty awesome every once in a while. Yeah, that's okay. Um, let me just do a little trimming here. Okay, we're good. Oops, I cut that on an angle. Let me get that straighter. Okay, I don't know why I did that at all, but I did. Okay, so we have that. 
Now that opens up and that gives them a nice writing space with a lined edge. And I think we are going to ink this with the, with the um, walnut stain. Then we're going to answer a couple more questions and then we are going to have our brand new contest with something really cool. And I got a lot of really cool things to share. So there you go. I think it'll be fun. Something intriguing. Something a little different. Gotta shake it up every once in a while, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. So, yes, this would be something that might come in a fundle or it might, you know, not even come in a fundle. Maybe I don't have enough of them to put in fundles. So it could be something quite unique. All right, there we go. Oops. Are you over at the edge? You need to be at the edge where I originally placed you. I don't ask much of you. Okay. Sometimes they're a little particular. You know how it goes. I'll just make those a little brown too. Okay, so we have the little door of piggies. I really like that. I think we'll give the door of piggies some doorknobs. Because we're here and we're goofing around and we, we have stuff. Let's get the bling going. Well, that would be cute with maybe little little black doorknob handles. Sure. Um, okay. I, I'm gonna, this I should probably put a little extra glue on. Okay. It's really hard to do with. Okay, that, that should be that should be enough. Okay, oh, glue everywhere now. Okay, we're going down, and we got one door. One piggy door is in place, and these are just little fake rhinestone thingies, little flat back rhinestone things. I think I probably got these from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something, or in a in a gift bag at the thrift store or something. You know, like that. Okay, then we have barn doors barn doors. So when the, it's, the book is closed, it's going to keep it flat and then they'll kind of see it pop up a little, a little and they're going to say, oh, maybe we should, we should write something in there because that's what we do in journals. We write. Do we? Do we now? Is that all we do in journals? I think not. We draw, we color, we, you know, write recipes and dreams and stuff like that. We're just all over the place. Okay, let's, this ink is here, so we're just going to little focal point there. Oh, that's really cute. Now we got that going. And let's just take it up one more notch. Do the back inking. Yeah. And the back inking just, I don't know, on the, the back side of the fold always just looks so pretty. Just like a little something special. Yeah. There we go. Who has more fun with paper than us, right? I mean, hey, it's all in a day's work. Here we are just hanging out, goofing off with the paper. Okay, so we have this nice little writing area, and we have closing piggy doors. That's right. You saw it here first, folks. I'm going to glue this down, and then we're going to get right to it, because I'm, I'm getting right to it. But look, it kind of matches with the colors, the color themes. I think that looks cute. Actually, that look, it keep glued right onto the front of the journal. But I have my little tree and everything there, so now we won't monkey with that. All right, undone you go again. Let's find a pretty page for you. Oh, pink. Oh, pink piggies that you are. That's kind of cute. I like that off of that. And I am going to glue this down. So these are very easy, very quick to make. And you can mass make these out of pretty much anything. You could, you could use game cards or playing cards. Or the nice thing about the index cards is it's already having the lines for you. So it looks like it's welcoming for, for someone to write something there. There we go. Already intact, in place. We are golden. Okay. Okay, we are actually going to pick two winners today because I had a two-part junk journal craft chat last week. So some of you posted your comment in the first video. Some of you posted your comment in the second video. And I want to give everybody a fair crack at it. So this is for the new unknown. I guess I should probably pick the prize. Hold on. Okay, I found the prize. And next week's prize will be, it's actually a Dear John letter from... This is 1895, so it's a very, very old letter. I'm not showing you that very well. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so here is the letter. Beautiful old calligraphy on very old paper. And I think I see the word hustling. That's interesting. Um, very interesting letter. So there you go. That is going to be the prize that somebody will get. That's a unique item. You can't find that anywhere else other than right here and right now. And let's see if you are the winner. So here we go. Did I hit it? Go. Go. Okay. Okay, what's that? Go. Why are you not going? Okay, we're going to try it again. Ready? Go. Go, go, go. Why are you not going? Oh, can you believe it? I 
Oh, I think we're trying. I'm sorry. You're still, we're still recording. Huh? Okay. I think I got it now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I forgot to add the comments. Okay. So there are 334 comments in this one. Cat Carlona Brown. Congratulations. You are the winner of the 19 or 1895, 1895, Dear John, real piece of ephemera letter. So there you go. You're going to get that. Now we're going to do one more. We're doing two this week only because we goofed it and we have to do, well, I had to do two videos last time. So now this one, it's very interesting. This one is from 1894, February 1st. Mr. Mitchell, dear sir. Oh, you are in big trouble, Mr. Mitchell. That's right. This is a beautiful old letter. I love the calligraphy in this. It's a beautiful piece. Let's do it again. Let's see if it'll work with me this time. Oh, I have to, wait a minute. I have to go get the other link for the video. Hold on. Okay, so we, we're all set. We are going to now do the second winner. And here we go. Bing. All right, is it you? 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 It's the paper turtle. I love your name, paper turtle. It's the paper turtle. So please tell me when you won. Um, email me at Pam to Pam at the paper outpost.com. That's my email address, both of you. And um, let me know that you won the contests for uh, the letters. And I or tell me which one you won, like um, the paper turtle. Tell me you won Mr. Mitchell and Carlana, I believe it was. Remember, remind me you won Dear John. OK, so this is also the only way you'll find out that you won by watching the video. I don't email, text, DM. Facebook, met nothing. I don't do any re outreach. It's just watch the video, see if you won, contact me. Okay, by Thursday of next week, and then I will go ahead and send you your prize. So there we go. We have that. That is good. Now hold, hold the horses. Okay, somebody has something to say. I have something to say. <coughs> okay, Sunshine here. Cub Pup Reporter reporting something happened to Sunshine today. Yes, you'll never believe what happened to Sunshine today. Tell them what happened. Okay, so we went for a walk in the park and it was hot, super hot. So apparently Sunshine had to have swimming lessons because he was hot. And mom even had to have swimming lessons because she was hot. So mom went in the pool and somehow Sunshine ended up in the pool and we all swam out and we were fine. And Sunshine didn't like it, but I, f I found my way out. Oops, whoop, I, it's okay, I just hit a box, that's all, that's all. Okay, well, don't, I, can't, I have to be, I have to know these things before they happen, Mom. Okay, over here, son, we're over here. Where are you, Mom? Everybody, over, wait, no, it's okay. It's all right, come back to the camera. Okay, um, so uh, I found my way out, I found the steps. She put a big black mark by the steps so I can find my way out and she watches me. So she doesn't leave me alone by the pool. No, 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 no. I, she watches me and I swim over to the steps and I climb out all on my own. I'm a big boy. I don't need any help. No, 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 no. And then she can't catch me because I'm very fast and I'm onto her because I know there's more swimming lessons coming and I don't like swimming lessons. But she says it's important. Okay, I think you did very well. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. That's it, folks. Happy crafting. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. So that was the day. There you go. Ta-da. So if you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Why would you sign up for that? For gosh sakes. Why? Because you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. And you can use it in your artwork any way you like. You get a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. Great to tuck in the beginning of your junk journals if you're gift giving or giving them uh, uh, or selling them. And also, um, uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, new and also on the other days, there's video podcasts on Spotify that you can watch. How cool is that? Um, just another place that you can watch the Paper Outpost. And also, my uh, I have an Etsy store if you're looking for journals or bundles or kits or uh, fundles, which are collections. Like if you just don't want to win one piece, but you want like a ton 
of interesting papers, 100 plus pieces, um, you can order one from my Etsy shop and I will send those off to you. And those are very fun to add to junk journals if you like the different textures, if you're into history, if you're a collector, you're going to find some cool things in there. And um, there's antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, black and white photos, tea cards, uh, music paper, dictionary paper, a whole host of other unique book pages. Lots of fun to be had for everyone. And also I sell DigiKits, which are printable, downloadable images. You get five pages of JPEG files and you can print them out at home and use them for journal cards, journal tucks. There are all sorts of different things, focal points, uh, po focal points for your covers, a myriad of ideas. And um, you can, um, um, if you don't like to print, oh, there's five per page. They're themed like birds, Victorian, calligraphy, uh, celestial, dragonfly, you name it. Uh, there's so many different kinds. There's over 200 sets to pick from. Those are the digi kits. And if you don't like to print or you don't have a printer, I will print them out for you on nice lightweight cardstock. You get 10 digi kits. Just pick 10 DigiKit names and send the list to me, either through Etsy message, oh, that's cute, Etsy message, or um, you can email the list to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com. You don't need to buy each individual DigiKit if you're doing the print and mail. Just send me the list of names and then just buy the print and mail option. That's it. Okay. And um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the Paper Outpost. I do my best to put links in my Amazon shop. Look under the favorite uh, tools and supplies section and just keep um, ask, scroll to the bottom and say more, show more, show more, and you'll see more. It, it has to load. Um, I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. Then you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And what, what are the phrases? Create with rec, did I say that? Create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise? Can't remember. Okay, um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're doing a lot of fun over there. We're having a lot of fun, doing fun and having fun. Um, uh, <laughs> I say this a million times and all of a sudden I can't remember what I normally say. Uh, we do weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these video ideas. And also remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.